it's amazing what God will do when you just don't care. And all you do care about is the gospel and people and seeing them live it out. It's, man, he will do things through you that you, later you get to look back and go, wow. And then you realize that it's exactly what he tells us in Matthew 6, that if you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, all this other stuff will come. But if you seek the stuff, then you're acting like a heathen that doesn't even have a God because you got to go get the stuff yourself and you'll never have enough. But when God is your God, he'll take care of all your stuff. He'll take care of your needs. And, and you even get to see your wants come to pass. And the wants that, he, that, he, that you get to see come to pass, they're not stuff. It's what he gets to do through you. See, that's... We, we, we've got to get back to real Christianity because it's not about sitting and listening to a sermon, to be honest with you. It's about living a life of freedom, freedom from fear, freedom from lack, freedom from, uh, and freedom from the fear of lack. But it's free. Knowing that you can meet the needs of others. Why? Because all your needs are met. And if that person needs healing, guess what? You take on their need. God, I need healing for that person. I'll meet your need. And he supplies the healing. He supplies the power. It's all there. But you just, you got to get away from this, the, the religious thing of trying to, listen, <laughs> you can't play God. What I mean by that is he knows your plans. He knows if you're faking it. He knows if you're playing him. You know what I mean? It's amazing. You talk to people on the street sometimes that are, you know, con artists. And, and it's funny because you look at and God will tell you that they're playing you. And you know they're playing you. You know, and and, but they got a good spiel. I mean, they've worked it out and it's worked. And, and you're listening to them and you're kind of, yeah, that's, wow, you've, you've spent some time on this story. You know, you just kind of, and, and a lot of, I said, listen, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, you don't, don't, I don't, you don't have to play me. I'm going to help you. Just because you ask, I'm going to help you. And then I tell them, because God told me to, Give to any man that asks. So I'm, I'm going to give you something. But it's not because I, you gave me a better story. It's just because you ask. And then they kind of don't know whether to run or what. Because you know, they, they don't want to run before you give them something. You know? so they're kind of like, okay, go ahead. You know, help. But you can't, you can't play God either. He knows. You know? And if, you, if you're going to worship because you want something, it's not worship. It's not worship. It's only worship when you come to give something. And in the giving, guess what? You can't outgive God. But you don't give to get from God. Amen? You, maybe you give because you got, but you don't give to get. Does that make sense? Now, I, listen, I believe so in reaping. I know all that's true. But I'm saying when you're worshiping God, come on, let it be pure. Let it be but what he is, amen? Not about, oh, God, you make me feel good. See, that's what a lot of our worship goes to. I'm going to worship until I feel good. That ain't worship. You know, you, you may be standing somewhere where, you know, we would say God's rain is falling, but it ain't worship. You know, that's the amazing thing with God. Wow, he is so good. You know, if it rains, all you got to do is get out in it. Anybody can walk out in the rain anytime they want. With God, you can walk into all he's got anytime you want. You can walk right into it. Why? Because he's not saying, you, you, oh, no, I'm going to stop the rain over you. No, it's not going to fall on you. He's, no. He says, no, you draw an eye to me, and I'll draw an eye to you. We just read that. Amen? But we've got to get away from the religious idea of where we're trying to create a God. Well, this is what he's like. This is, we've got to put him here. We've got to put him, and it's going to do this. No. Well, God won't do that until you do this. He won't do that until the. And see, a lot of times we make those rules. God didn't say it. We were, my wife and I were talking last night about how God uses people. And, you know, many times it's, the only reason he uses them is because they're all he's got. And he cares so much about this other person, he'll even use that person to help them. Yeah, I know I've been in that boat, right? 
but he loves people. And real freedom comes when you start loving people. Because then he'll pour himself through you just to touch them. It's amazing. But if you try to use him to get somewhere, oh, let me tell you, he can see right through that. And he knows it. And it's going to be a rough road. It's going to be rough. Why? Because he, he doesn't play like that. With him, this stuff is real. It's not even church. It's life, you know? When we're all gone from here and all this stuff, guess what? The life we have in us is going to keep on going on. So what life is that? Well, that's your testimony. That's what it all comes back to. So 